If there was ever a sound that stirs your very soul and raises the hair on the back of your neck, it is this one. And once you hear the unmistakable call, it becomes enmeshed within the fabric of your being forever. To be privileged enough to hear it, you must be in a very special place at a very special time of the year. For this is the kingdom of the Rocky Mountain Elk in September. And you are in the greater Yellowstone area, one of the wildest and most spectacular venues on earth. There are a lot of species that depend on elk. Predators, there are a lot of species of plants that are very affected by elk and their numbers and their, their grazing and browsing patterns. But I think one of the interesting things is that people are very passionate about elk. When you have such a regal animal that can weigh up to 800 pounds, stand five feet at the shoulder, and have a rack of antlers of five feet or more, it's easy to see why passion and elk are synonymous. Take the Jackson Hole Herd, for example, one of the biggest in the country. 13,000 animals is what we're at about now. It varies from maybe down to 10,000 upwards of 17,000 at some times. It's always changing all the time, just like any wildlife population. They have a long migration route. These elk are coming from the southern end of Yellowstone down to their wintering area, which is right on the edge of town of Jackson. Elk that come to winter here at the National Elk Refuge make their way down from God's country a block of surrounding national forest and national park lands encompassing 2,100 square miles as wild as the elk itself. Some of the elk travel long distances. Uh, we have elk coming from Yellowstone that will travel up to 70 miles from the park to spend the winter down here and then return the following spring. Many of the elk though are fairly close by, just uh, 10 to 20 miles north of us in uh, Grand Teton National Park. The Greater Yellowstone area has always been a stronghold for this magnificent animal. Even in the early 1900s when elk numbers had been slashed to 50,000 from 10 million due to indiscriminate market hunting, there were still pockets of elk in the region. But the survival of the Jackson Hole herd was placed in jeopardy when development in the valley began to eliminate food sources and block their ancient migration routes. The National Elk Refuge was started in 1912 as a result of people's passion. People did not want to see this last great elk herd in North America dwindle away. And so they petitioned Congress and got Congress to establish this and to fund it. And it's been a very successful conservation effort. 25,000 acres were set aside in perpetuity to provide food and a place for the elk to come weather the winters in Jackson Hole. And the opportunity to see the great herds up close and personal draws visitors from all over the world. We have some great elk viewing opportunities. Obviously the herd is right north of the town of Jackson. You can see them from the highway. We also have a sleigh ride concession on the refuge and uh, you can take sleigh rides right out in and amongst the elk get some great photographs, uh, get right next to the animals. Uh, we have about 25,000 people a year that ride the sleigh, so it's a very popular activity here in Jackson. But this pastoral winter scene with thousands of elk on the feed didn't just come about by chance. The refuge has a well-planned strategy to ensure that the elk not only receive enough food, but get as much of a natural diet as possible until they return to the high country in the spring. 